it's probably about lap 20 now. I don't know. I left it about lap 32 to go. Uh, and in the PS4 race, I watched the Xbox race. Holy crap. This we just got a lot of stuff to talk about here today about the E League and it, it, it's 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 a shit show. I, I don't know any other way to explain it but a shit show. Also, shout out to the old intro coming back. Lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the Guys, I'm gonna try and kind of get back to these kind of formats because you guys seem to like those a lot more, and me just having terrible gameplay. Uh, while I talk over does not seem to be the kind of stuff you guys like to see me talk about um, But yeah, so today we are going to be talking about the e NASCAR e Pro League. I think that's what it's called something like that. It's, first of all the name I mean like what even is that name? Uh, but second of all uh, it, was n it was it wasn't good So I don't know probably most of you guys have been in at least one NASCAR heat Four league NASCAR heat Four NASCAR heat three league and chances are it you, you've mud multiple races and at least one of the races consisted of a lot of cautions and I don't know if this is really due to driver skill like yes driver skill has a lot to do with it but as my phone goes off I mean if you if you watch the race the drivers even the drivers of steering wheels were just swerving all over in this front straightaway they could not hold a line for anything and it, it was just a, a wreck fest and I it kind of seems kind of cleaned up in the Xbox race about halfway at that um, competition caution but still, there was wrecks, there was cautions, and I think whoever the Penske driver is, that is who won the Xbox race. Like I said, I've, the PS4 race is not ended at the recording of this. Uh, I quite frankly don't care. I've seen really all I needed to see. And uh, both the race, there was a caution off of the first restart. It, it was, it's just not, it's not a good look for NASCAR Heat. Um, and, and, and it's kind of disappointing because... The teams actually did put a lot of effort into it. They made the, you know, they made T-shirts. They, uh, <laughs> I guess that's really about it. But they, I mean, the teams did put in some effort into it. It's not like they just slapped their name on there. They did put some effort behind it, and it's kind of sad to see how it went. But it's not all bad. This means that 704 now can see what they need to improve on and it's now not just like oh it's just you know people complaining no the, the cars are actually undrivable because i actually have a very good example just yesterday i was in a league race racing at talladega i made my car a little bit too loose i'll i will admit but my car just hits the apron just a little bit and it's sideways that is not normal that is not normal at all maybe if you clip it and you know you hit it just right it'll happen but no every time you touch the apron you spin out and that is not normal but not just that the, the cars are just you're almost unable to keep it straight and a lot of people blame this on driver skill which I'm not saying it is all the game it is somewhat the driver's skill but at the same time it is somewhat the game and just how the cars handle if you ever really see a car I mean unless the driver has made the setup in real I'm talking real life here unless the driver has made the setup extra loose very rarely do you see a car that is unable to keep keep it straight and yes I understand that this these are we're talking about the best drivers in the world when we're talking about the drivers I'm referring to but when supposedly the best NASCAR heat players or drivers are still struggling to keep it straight I think that has to be a sign that there is something wrong with the physics in this game and hopefully 704 sees this and is able to fix it for NASCAR heat for and I think that's really the one thing that is holding back this game because if you if you put it on a stable like you might just say put it on a stable or setup but if you put it on a stable or setup you are insanely slow and then somebody who is able to use one of the looser setups or I mean you don't even have to be you just put it on there and you can just fly away and as long as nobody else has it on you're, you're going to win the race and there's not going to be that many cautions but it, it's it's just it's it's good but it's bad at the same time it's bad for PR you know us people you know playing the game it could be better because this could bring on some changes to the game and hopefully it does I mean I'm, I'm not really sure if it will or not there it really does depend but I mean and, and, and I gotta remember it has only been one race they could go somewhere else and it could do just fine maybe this Charlotte was not a good race for them but 
I don't know. Uh, it really did resemble that of a league race with amateur drivers that um, I have competed in over hundreds of times. And it, it really did. That's what it really looked like. I mean, there was wrecks every three and four laps. Nobody could really keep a straight line. And it, it just was not It was not good at all. And just to kind of add to this, this is kind of an afterthought here. I mean, it just really resembled a regular league race, which is something that anybody can compete in. And... It, it it's nothing really that special what i and i'm not saying it has to be sure entertainment the entire race but it should not be a wreck fest either if you are the best drivers in whatever sport you're in um then you should have a clean race i mean obviously we can't go caution three that's not what i'm asking for i'm asking for clean racing i'm asking for not a caution every five to five to ten laps and i i'm looking for an enjoyable race too and that is not what I saw today at Charlotte. I mean, it had its moments. There were some good battles there, here and there, but they were overshadowed by the countless amount of cautions. And that is not good for a sport. I mean, and it's not just NASCAR. I mean, I mean, every once in a while we get a wreck fest in the Cup Series in NASCAR, but you know, usually, generally we uh, we don't get that many. And you know, an occasional wreck fest here and there is is not a bad thing but being the inaugural race um it should definitely not be a wreck fest uh, it's definitely not a good look for your sport or esport um and yeah it's just kind of a little afterthought i did after editing this video inside that in so back to back to regular scheduled programming and here is something else to kind of add to the discussion. If you guys go watch a peak antifreeze series race, it is never like this. Okay, I can't say it's never. There are times where, you know, you get a caution and it seems like you just pile up. But it is a heck of a lot cleaner. It is a video game with a really good handling. It's a simulation game. And I do remember way back before NASCAR E3, I think Ed Martin said, we never plan on being a simulation game. But if you want to produce a great product for an, an E-League you are going to have to become a simulation game. If you don't want to be an E-League, then be an arcade-ish game. But if you want to be an E-League and you want to have good product, good racing, and you want your drivers to be able to hold a line and not have a wreck fest, you're going to have to go in the way of simulation. There is no and or ifs or buts about it. Because if you have an arcade game and you're watching people wreck, what is the point? Why would you, unless you're looking for a demolition derby, that that's the thing. You got to make these cars l similar to that of real cars and not make them uh, really touchy and all of that. That's 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 it. That's another kind of little post editing thing or during editing thing that popped in my mind. And now back to your regular sch regular scheduled programming. Hopefully. 74 games can find a fix for it if not um we might not be seeing another season of the of the uh whatever it's called e nascar he pro league <laughs> such a long name uh but that's really all i got for today make sure you like hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying this kind of different format of videos calm down your thoughts i might make another video on it um uh yeah that's really all i got i'll see you guys guys <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one peace out